friends. Welcome back to Paying the Glass with Mr. B. I have another funny story. Two of my favorite friends. Bam. And I have Boo. I have Bamboo. My two favorite little friends. My students. Today, we have a science story. We're going to learn all about munching, punching, sniffing, and snooping. Ooh, could be fun. There are lots of pictures to be in. Some could be in your scared friends story. Because the two scared friends is just a story and it's just a book. Ooh, wow. Mm. Okay, now let's think. Lion, dog. Pictures. Mouths are for eating, drinking, and speaking. Mouths are for tasting, biting, and licking. Mouths are for sipping, chewing, and smiling. Mouths are for singing. Oh. Blowing and kissing. Mwah. Mouths are for shouting. Oh. <laughs> Whispering and yawning. Whose mouths are these? I want to see this one. The king of beasts roamed the plain. He had big, sharp teeth and a long, shaggy mane. Hmm, who is that fox? I think you're right. Tell her to sit. Tell her to lie. She wags her tail and jumps up high. He likes to leap. He likes to hop. He dives into ponds. Splash, plop, plop. Long and low with scurly skin. Scaly skin. He lies in water up to his chin. Ooh. Were you right? page. <gasps> we open our mouths to talk, but a lion roars. A dog barks. Woof, woof. A frog croaks. Croak. And an alligator smiles, but he's not really smiling. He's ready to snap up animals come to the river for a drink. Body talk. As well as any, as well as making noises with their mouths, many animals talk with their bodies and tails. This dog wants to play. My dog does that too when she wants to play. Does your dog do the same thing? Mom says, don't stick your tongue out. <laughs> but chameleon, chameleon, chameleon flicks out a long tongue that sticks to an insect like flypaper. Sharp shooter, a chameleon's tongue shoots out like a spring. Catching insects is tricky. Baby chameleons often miss. A cat uses her rough tongue like a comb to lick and clean her fur. That makes sense. A gecko, gecko 
can clean his own eyes with his long tongue. Wow. I didn't even know that. Dad says, don't stand there with your mouth wide open. <gasps> oh, goodness. Try telling that to a snake who is trying to swallow an egg. Or a howler monkey who's warning others not to come too close. Or a hyena who won't stop laughing. The hyena's laugh is no joking matter. Hyenas make this sound when they hunt and kill their prey. Wow. Mighty fighters. Spotted hyenas have very strong jaws that can crush and chew large bones and horns. Even lions can't do this. Wow. I didn't know that, friends. Did you know that? Mom says, brush your teeth. <gasps> but some sharks don't need toothbrushes. Small fish can clean their teeth for them. A hamster's strong teeth never stop growing, so he doesn't care about tooth decay. A turtle never has to worry about losing her teeth because she hasn't got any. Oh my goodness. I can't even imagine. What do I do without my teeth? Instead, the edges of her jaws are hard and bony. Underwater fishing. An, an alligator snapping turtle's tongue looks like a worm. When she opens her mouth, fish think they see dinner. They swim in and get snapped up. Huh. Wow. I like this story, friends. I like learning about new things. Don't you? A bird's mouth is called a beak. Birds use their beak to collect food and then eat it. A heron has a long pointed beak for catching fish. A parrot's beak is so strong that she can crack open nuts. Food on a stick. A woodpecker, finch, uses his beak to hold a cactus spine which he pushes into tree holes to pick out grubs. Grubs are bugs. A woodpecker, a woodpecker can dig for insects in tree trunks with his sharp beak. That's fascinating. Noses are for smelling, sniffing, and snooping. Noses are for breathing, sneezing, and snorting. Ha <laughs> ha, little piggy. Noses are for nuzzling up to mom, for finding food, and for staying out of danger. Noses are for poking, but not for picking. Ugh. <laughs> Whose noses are these? Mm. In Chinese forests, she's top bear. She's black and white and very rare. This animal swings from tree to tree. He has fingers and toes like you and me. Mm. What is that animal? She digs out tunnels under the ground. 
and pushes the earth into a mound. He's big and white. He lives in the snow. He's covered in fur from head to toe. Do we know whose noses these are? It's a good guess. I think you're right. Were you right? Turn the page and find out, friends. <gasps> wow. Animals have a stronger sense of smell than we do. It helps them to find food. A panda sniffs out bamboo. <gasps> here's bam. And here's boo which is her favorite food. A panda. Hi, panda. An orangutan uses his nose to find the ripest fruit. I wish I could do that super fast. A mole sniffs out earthworms in the dark. And polar bears sniff out seals that are hiding in the snow. Wow. Sniffing for our supper. People use pigs to sniff out truffles under the ground. Truffles are like mushrooms but they cost a lot more because they are very hard to find. Mom says, don't be nosy. But police officers never tell their dog to stop nosing around. Smelly clues. Police dogs can track down criminals by sniffing small traces of human sweat. And Enchinada pokes his, no his long nose between rocks looking for ants. Bears stick their nose into beehives in search of honey. Their fur protects them from most bee stings, but sometimes they get stung on the nose. Ow. Dad says, use a hanky to wipe your nose. <laughs> you wouldn't say this to seabirds because they don't carry handkerchiefs, but they do have runny noses. Seabirds take in a lot of salt as they feed. Later, it comes out through their noses as very salty water. Oh. <laughs> Who's that? A camel never has a runny nose. She can close her nostrils to keep liquid in and sand out. This helps her to live in the hot, dry desert. Wow. No, I can't close my nose. Can you close your nostrils? No, I could just move my nostrils. I can't close them. Pretty cool. Camel. Never knew that. Mom says, if you don't bathe, you'll stink. But some animals stink on purpose. Skunks can spray a smelly liquid at their enemies. The liquid comes from stink glands under their bushy tails. Ooh. Aim and fire! A 
spotted skunk squirts his evil smelling spray by lifting up his tail and doing a handstand. What does happen when I do a handstand? Ooh, jaguars eat a lot of turtles. These small animals are usually easy to catch. But this tiny turtle can give off such an awful smell that jaguars leave her alone. No wonder she is called a stink hot turtle. I've never seen a stink hot turtle before. Have you? I've seen a skunk before. And I try to stay away from them. Dad says, don't turn your nose up at your vegetables. But you wouldn't say this to an elephant. An elephant's long nose is called a trunk. She turns it up to collect leaves to eat. She can use it to lift a log, suck up water, or a shower, or hold on to another elephant's tail, or make a loud noise called trumpeting. Very large log. More fascinating facts. Female alligators can help their eggs hatch by gently rolling the eggs in their mouths. Wow! When a hippo yawns, he is really warning off other hippos by showing them his huge teeth. Wow, I didn't know that. Didn't know he was warning them at all. Did you know that? Hippos, when they, they're warning other hippos, they have these large teeth. Ah, I'll get you. Dogs and cats can carry their young in their mouth without hurting them. They pick up each baby by the scruff of its neck. A hamster can fill his mouth with lots of food. He stuffs the food in his cheeks then carries it to his nest, where he stores it for later. An elephant's trunk can lift a big log, but it can also pick up tiny things, such as a single leaf. A male emperor moth can smell a female several miles away. Salmon are able to smell their way back to the stream where they were hatched. Wow! A snake smells and tastes the air with their tongue. He flicks it in and out to tell whether food, a mate, or an enemy is near. Wow! This is so fascinating science. And that's the end of our story of munching, crunching, sniffing, and snooping. Oh, isn't that fun? Wow, so much fun information there. Thanks for joining us at Panda Class with Mr. B. I'm Mr. B. And this is Bam. And this is Boo. Bam Boo. Bam Boo. I'm so glad you could stop by today, friends. And as always, it's time for our ritual. And of course, you can always replay these stories as much as you want read with me. You can stop the story, read it yourself, listen to me, read the story, see if you got it right. Quiz yourself and it really helps. This is all about learning, friends. Of course, re replay the story as many times as you want. And I, I really wish that you'd subscribe and let lots more stories. Okay, friends? It's time for crunching and cheese. You ready? Raise up. Left hand in the air. Ready? Pinch pot, pinch pot, cheese, cheese, cheese. Pinch pot, pinch pot, cheese, cheese, cheese. Thanks for coming by, friends. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.